In this video, I'm going over some basic techniques to paint these watercolor flowers. We're going to start out by mapping out our drawing. We want it to be centered on this square paper. So we're gonna start with a big circle up in the corner, and add a smaller one here. Do this really lightly so that it's easy to erase later. We'll add some lines for our greenery, kind of like a C curve. Once we get the sketch ready, then we can move on to our paint. I'm using pink and a tiny bit of red for the flowers. Start by holding your brush outward of the flower and pulling it in. I have quite a bit of water in my mixture because I want this to be light as I'll be adding in some more pigment towards the middle. Make sure to keep your brush fully loaded with water so it doesn't dry out. Once you make your way all the way around on your flower, get a little more paint on your brush, but try to have less water so you have heavy pigment on the tip. And then gently tap while it's still wet in the middle and it should flow towards the ends of your petals. You can pull it out a little onto the dry paper to bring your petal in. Now we're ready to move on to our smaller flower. Start outward and pull in, adding variation to your petal size. Make sure to keep your brush loaded so that it's not too dry. After you make your way around on the smaller flower, pick up the pigment again on your brush and do the same thing as the large one, pulling it in. You can add more pink or more red to it or a different color if you want it to blend in. Make sure it's still wet while you do this. Now we're going to go in and add the centers just by making little marks like this. And there's a baby hand. <laughs> that wasn't my hand. If you get it too dark, you can dip your brush in some water and dry it off a little and pick up some of the, the pigment. Now we're going to switch over and do the greenery. That's again, not my hand. <laughs> so we're gonna pull up some of this green. This is sap green. You can mix it with some other greens. You can pull in a little bit of brown if you want to make it a little more muted. Now we're gonna follow these C curves, but not necessarily make a line going up. We're gonna start by just making the petals and have them touch the line and then work our way up. We're gonna use the same brush that we were using before Start at the middle, push down and gently pull up. You can go back in and add a little point.
Make sure you keep your brush loaded. You can add as many or as little leaves as you want. And then add one on the very tip. You can go back in and add little hints of lines. If you pick up more pigment on your brush, you can have it blend in like you did the petals. Now I'm going to start with a tip on this one. Do the same thing and work my way down. You can vary how far apart you do them, how big they are. Just follow your C curve you made with your pencil. And you can go back and add hints of the, the stem. After it's completely dry, you can go back in and erase all the pencil marks. And here's the finished piece. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you want to see more videos like this.